Hey, happy Monday. I almost asked if it was Monday, but it's still the same day. It's just been a long one. So, yeah, sorry I'm late. Um, I am usually here like an hour ago. Uh, no, almost two hours ago. Um, but tonight was a special night because on Mondays, we don't wear pink, but, um, it, yeah, on Mondays, <laughs> on Mondays, uh, I'm in this group, I'm co-hosting a awesome group of women and co-leading however you want to, whatever, whatever. Uh, I help lead a fabulous group of women through, um, it's like a 90 day transformation. I was going to say how many weeks, but it's a 90 day transformation, um, called how to be your body's best friend. And uh, so that's on Monday nights. And so it was just easier to accommodate y'all now. Um, but yeah, so that's where I've been. That's what I've been doing today. It's a great way to start your week to just check in with some awesome people that are on a similar journey. Anyway, um, hmm. And you put my pen down because I broke it. <laughs> Stop playing with things. Anyway, so tonight I wanted to talk to you, I'll talk with you about the word should. Are you doing what you should be? Riddle me this. <laughs> Who decides what we should do? I feel like that's just like such a common phrase to say, oh, you know, I should be drinking more water. I should be exercising more. I should be eating better. I should be getting up earlier. I should be able to work a full-time job, take care of my kids, keep my house clean, and still have time for me. <laughs> Everybody laugh now. <laughs> but like, seriously, like who decides what we should do what we should be able to do what we should be capable of doing what we should enjoy doing please just like consider this with me because uh, i have a friend her name is megan and i have a lot of friends named megan so this friend named megan is awesome she actually came into our um how to be your body's best friend group last week and was a special guest and she used that, she used the phrase, um, shooting, you should stop shooting on yourself. And I was just like that. I mean, I've been aware of this should problem for a while now. Um, but I think that's the best way to, to say it to you guys. Like you're shooting on yourself. And I feel that so much because those are expectations. When we say that we should, when we say that we should, that's an expectation that we most likely have not met. Because otherwise, we sh we don't need to say we should because we did. So those are expectations you haven't met. Well, where did these expectations come from? Whose are they? Are they yours? Are they somebody else's? Are they society's? Are they your grandparents' expectations? Is it your ex's expectations? Is it somebody you don't even like? <laughs> like, is it their expectation that you are now trying to live out? And this is so important because we use like, oh, I should do that. Should you? And I don't mean that to be like, well, duh, everybody should drink more water and most Americans need to eat better. Okay, correct. Looking at statistics, but it's not about statistics. We're all individuals. This is about you on a personal level. What should you do? So what, what I've done, what I've made a point to do, um, especially since listening to Megan talk last week, uh, is say that I could, I could do that. I could do that. And here's the power of could. Here's the power of could. It's, it's my power. It gives it back to me. I could do that. And not like, yeah, I could. I feel capable when I say could. I feel capable and empowered because it is my choice. But when I say should, it's someone else's expectation. And I've obviously failed in some way somehow. But when I could... I'm capable and there's power there. So that's my little gift to you. You're welcome. You're welcome. Um, yeah, that's my gift to you guys. Stop shooting on yourself and realize that you could. 
that you are capable of anything you want. If something is worth it to you, you will make it work for you. Okay, so stop feeling guilty about all the things you should be doing and realize that you could do anything if it served you. If it served you well enough, if it was valuable enough to you, you are capable. There's no reason why you can't. You could do it. It's not that you should, but you could. So that's all. That's all. This is my little tidbit of the evening. Um, happy Monday. I hope you have a fabulous day. If um, Since I mentioned it like a bunch, um, if, if you're interested in getting involved with how to be your body's best friend, um, that you totally can't currently in week six, but you guys, this is like, everything's recorded. Everything's there. So you can jump in anytime and get started on that. Um, if you're interested in that, I'll actually put a link in the description of this video or in my bio. If you're on Instagram, check my bio. The link is already there. Um, but yeah, for everybody else, I'm going to put it in, uh, the description of this video. So you can check that out if you're interested. Uh, if not, psh, whoops, that's fine. <laughs> Anyways, so you could Join me on the journey if you'd like to. You could also join Heart Centered and Intentional Horsewomen where you don't have to love horses or even be a woman, but we cover all kinds of topics from horses to big emotions and even how to be your body's best friend in some cases. So that's all. I'm out. I love you guys. Thank you so much for joining me tonight and I'll talk to you later.